everybody my throat's a bit sore so my voice might be weird <laughs> um you are watching Libby frog and we are showing what is on our nail polish racks for autumn so these are polishes that we want to wear this season um i have a whole box full <laughs> so get ready um I was made to take out about 10 polishes because Ian said there's too many and and because I'm really ill so um yes hopefully I still have a balance <laughs> and uh oh froggy froggy got there so let's just get started the first three polishes were actually on my summer rack but I rather think that these colors will be good for autumn so we have this sort of uh, berry sort of color with a really really warm flash this is keep the miracle burning by moonshine manny and i think i think that is going to be great for the autumn and this is a sort of a mustardy yellow so mustard yellows are good for the autumn. I am not a mustard person at all, but there's so much prettiness inside there that I'm willing to give it a go. Uh, this is Married in a Hurricane. And this third one is from the same Mix Along Swatch Fest exclusive. This is The Miracle Is You. And it is so pretty. I think teals are great for autumn and Halloween. Um, so this is probably the most colourful polish in my autumn rack. Carrying on the Moonshine Manny section. I've got this really oldie but goodie uh, and this is, I think it's, it's, thank God it's Black Friday. I think that's what that stands for, T-G-I-B-F. Um, it's just, this is just autumn in a bottle, this really dusty, tealy base with basically autumn leaf sprinkles <laughs> um there's just bronze and orange and all sorts of caper in there and i just think that's just the most perfect autumn polish and i cannot remember the last time i wore this so that's why that's in there it needs some love uh one of my favorite recent well very relatively recent minchai manis this is blackberry licious and it was a facebook custom and it is just seriously, oh, it is just so gorgeous. Um, It's this obviously blackberry sort of scattered hollow. There's some shimmer in there too. That I, I'm not quite sure what's in there, but it's absolutely stunning. It's one of the best polishes she's done in the last year. This is August 2021. Um, and it's just a favourite and I just have to wear it again. Okay, the... These next two Moonshine Mannies uh, is a duo created by moi and this is it's basically hot chocolate with marshmallow sprinkles and um, so this is Poirot's Chocolat Show name my I named that one <laughs> and just it's just oh she just totally smashed this um, so it's a linear hollow brown with shifty shimmer and I love that combo so much when you mix the near hollow with the shifty shimmer I just I love that um and this this polish is just stunning on its own but then you can add the marshmallows um I think I've sh I'm sure I've shown this before but it's it's autumn autumn into winter is 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 hot chocolate season let's face it so um I'm just really keen to wear this again. I think this might be my last Moonshine Manny. This one is a custom polish which nobody else has except me and my bestie Kate and uh, this was long before the Golden Girls mix along and we named it Thank You For Being A Friend because it's basically a polish to celebrate our friendship and it took us ages to decide uh, back and forth but we have similar tastes uh, in some ways and so we have this sort of dusty periwinkle base uh, with 
the blue flash and the scattered hollow and it's honestly one of the most stunning polishes Phoebe's ever made and obviously it's special because it's meaningful to me and my my good friend Kit. So I just think periwinkles and indigos um, are great, great for autumn because they're sort of in betweeny. It's an in betweeny colour, you know. Alrighty, let's get on to some vampy stuff. <laughs> so this is OPI black to reality and it was a polish that was on my list for ages and I finally got it and it didn't disappoint I just love it I love blackened reds deep reds all the deep reds blood reds oxbloods just yeah but blackened reds are just so cool I always feel just badass when I wear this so I have to wear it again and this this next one is Bees Knees My Muse and I just thought it's such a, like it's it's like pretty mud, you know what I mean? The bright, sort of the browny base with the, that blue, blue to green, is it blue to gold green flash? I don't know, I just think, I just think it's really grungy and I love grungy stuff for autumn so there we, there we have it. And obviously you think about the changing leaves. So I had to throw in a yellow and it took me a while to decide on what yellow, but I chose Essie, check your baggage, because it's the kind of yellow, it's got like a drop of orange in there, if you see what I mean. And it's just, it's a rich shade. I just think it's a lovely shade. So I had to throw in a yellow there. Okay, going back to reds because I'm obsessed with deep reds and I had to put this one in Bluebird Centaur of Attention. I was talking to Amanda about this one recently and it just got me thinking about it and I thought, well, I just, I'm going to have to wear this soon because uh, I need to wear it again. It's possibly my favourite Bluebird. Not that I have many, but it, it's just, it's just absolutely stunning. I love it. Obviously, it is the season for oranges because pumpkins and stuff. Um, this this is a really funny shade, actually. This is Slay Cozy by KB Shimmer. Oh, and my thing! Oh, my thing has come off. Oh no! I'm gonna have to redo that. So, um, I would still categorize it as an orange, but it has a fair bit of red in there. As you can see by my swatch. <laughs> yeah. So it's a funny shade. I I I would still I would still categorize it as orange. But it's got red in there too. I suppose it's a ready orange. Um yeah, I'm I'm not sure how this shade is described, but it's definitely autumn. Okay, let's have another red because this is amazing and you all know this one this is Kalaris de Carol Slappy's tie it's just too good not to put on again this autumn it's just too good it is one of those that's a wee bit stainy but look at that hollow that hollow is amazing and it is it is perfection the shade is just this is my favorite kind of garnet sort of red and I love that so much. I mean, I could, I could wear that all the time. And obviously, autumn, you think of browns. So I have got one of my recent favourites. This is Truffle by Calorista Carol. Oh my word! I words, I words, cannot explain just how magical this polish is. Yes, it's really dark, but it's got that linear hollow and shimmer mix there's there's something else in there in the mix and that just creates magic um and i love it it's just so cool this is the this is the only way i want to wear brown <laughs> what's the magic in it i'm not a brown person but when when they add magic i am very happy to wear it this is midnight feast by princess nail lacquer which is no longer and it's just like dark magic it is so pretty but it does have those nighttime vibes 
maybe good for bonfire night kind of polish. It's just so cool. I love it. Um, I think Amanda wore this recently and it made me think about it. And this is Cirque Colours Earthen. As you can see, it is a bit of a favourite. <laughs> but I actually can't remember the last time I wore it. So um, that's why this is in there. And I just think this is a lovely autumn polish. You know, dusty purples. I think dusty purples are dusty anything really for for autumn. Is, is perfect and the glow on this is absolutely stunning and the delicate scattered hollow i just love it so this one this is another princess nail lacquer cinnamon sparkles oh she did a range of sparkly ones just before she closed and they they're absolutely stunning i didn't i this is just the prettiest autumn polish ever it's like sparkly autumn and it's just perfection absolute perfection Ah, finally we're, we have an untried and this is Wicked Asteria. And I think deep blues and indigos are perfect for autumn. Um, like you think of autumn nights and stuff. And this is, this is a bit blurply. So that's why I put it in my autumn basket and I it, it is an untried, so it needs to be worn. And here we have a dusty, another dusty purple. This is Dangle Foot. The Silent Struggle. This is an, uh, this was a, oh, it's a thermal. I forgot it was a thermal. I have no idea what the shift is. Oh, well, uh, it will be a surprise. <laughs> this is, uh, was an endometriosis, um, I think it was a charity uh, polish. There was a trio, anyway. And another dark red, we have Lannister's Regards by Prism Polish. And I, oh, you know what? I don't often wear warm reds. I usually prefer the cooler side, but this, it is just gorgeous. Look at that. It's just too good. And I thought, you know what? I need to wear that again. Murky greens, we need murky greens. <laughs> and this is Matcha by Barry M. This is such a good shade. Like really good. It's got a bit of ugly bottle syndrome. But um oh it's just so good. It's just such a good shade. And I think that is a really good autumn green, right? And we have another untried. This is a dance legend. This was a gift from Oh, I'm not sure. This is New Promise number 852. And look at how pretty. It's like, it's like, it's like sparkly magical holographic autumn there in a bottle. So I thought, you know, I really need to try this wee thing. That looks really, really pretty. And uh, we have another prism polish. This is Drogon. Is that a Game of Thrones thing? Anyway, it's just, oh, I mean, I mean, is that not a great autumn brown right there? See what I mean? Like, if that was just a cream, I'd be like me, but it's got magic in it. So I'm happy. <laughs> this is Prism Polish Ember. And this is a really, really cool black to red multi cream with hollow and that combo you can see there that that combo is just so so good I, I just, oh, that is just one sexy polish yes there are lots of vampy shades <laughs> so um here we have a china glaze and this is autumn i need oh autumn I need that and it's just this gorgeous reddy brown with um little gold glitters actually there's something else in there is there something else in there or maybe it is just a gold glitter anyway it's absolutely gorgeous and another china glaze and it is ash and burn I mean this is a perfect November sort of 
polish. Um, it's really, really cool black, but with the, the gold glitters in there. Um, it builds up really nicely and it just has a really like cool black, like sparkly cool. <laughs> Okay, so we needed another orange in there, so I put in Tonic Greatest Pumpkin. And I think I've only worn this once, so I thought I better I better wear it again. I mean, it's just a perfect pumpkin orange for autumn. The hollow, hollow really, linear hollow really clings to the side of the bottle and you can't see the colour properly. Anyway, it is just a perfect, perfect shade of orange for autumn. So, I mentioned indigo earlier, so this is um, probably the best Zoya indigo. And this is Neve, Neve, Neve. <laughs> um, not spelt the Irish way. <laughs> anyway, it is just such a good indigo, um, and I think it's I think it's a wee bit underrated. So, um, there's my little watch of it. See, it's just, oh, it's so good because it's got a bit of a sapphire sort of shimmer to it. I mean, it's not strong, but it is there and it, it photographs a bit more blue, but it is an indigo. So there we have it. That is my autumn nail polish rack, complete with cat hair. <laughs> I think, I mean, I think I got a relatively good balance. These are the most colourful ones there. But I think I think we got a good mix in there. That's not too bad. Um, let me know what you think of my picks. And please, 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 please check out everybody else in this lovely club. I just I say it every time, but I just love our seasonal collab so much. And I can't wait to watch everybody else's videos. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye! I forgot to say, on my nails is a Moonshan Manny Supreme Executive Power and it is just such a great grungy polish. I'm, I'm into the grunge a lot lately, um, but there's really, really cool little little flecks of blue and gold and, and things in there and it's just, it's just such a cool polish. Much underrated series, this was the Monty Python series that she did. Anyway, that that was what's that is what's on my nails.